Santos em Salvador, Bahia, em Academia Champion. Cigano, how was your training for Velázquez in December? Well, my training, my training is going very well, you know, I mean, I have a lot of time to get prepared for him. Uh, my fight uh, against him is going to be in uh, December 29. So, you know, King Velasquez is a uh, really good, uh, he's going to be, actually he's a really good opponent, you know, and I think uh, at this rematch we're going to have a, a very good fight. What do you expect to him to do differently from, from the first time? Uh, well, I think uh, I think he's gonna try to take me down right away, you know, because uh, he knows I'm I'm very confident fighting on, on my feet, you know, using my boxing skills. So for sure, he's gonna try to take me down and use his ground and pound, you know, like he did with uh, uh, Bezão at the, the his last fight. Yeah. You you intend to do the whole training here in Bahia? Or you, you intend to go to Corinthians the, the, and use that excellent structure that the, the team gave to you? Well, now, yeah, now I have a partnership with uh, Corinthians, you know, a, a, a club, the club Corinthians. It's a know. soccer, big, really big soccer team yeah, uh, it's a really big in soccer, São Paulo. It's a really big soccer team here in, in Brazil, you know. In, uh, uh, well, I think I'm gonna do half part of my camp there in São Paulo, uh, training at the, the Corinthians, because they have a very good uh, uh, support. They have a very good support for me there. You know, they are very experienced uh, to, to take care of athletes. So I think it's gonna be good for me. You know, and the last part of my camp, I'm gonna come back to 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 Salvador. You know. And I will finish my training here in Salvador because, you know, this is my home and I like to, to train here. Uh, what about your physical condition, Cigano? Last time you got a, a knee problem very close to the fight and you fought anyway. How do you feel right now after the surgery? Well, I'm feeling very good, you know. I, I Actually, I forgot about, uh, about my knee, you know. I got my meniscus injury, you know, in my last fight against King Velasquez, my fight for the title. So now I'm feeling very good, you know. I, I, I'm actually 100% to, to, to start my camp, you know, and uh, be very well prepared for my, my next match. Talking about uh, Overeem, you and Overeem had a, a lot of <laughs> talk. Actually, he, he talked about you more than you talk about him. But how, how do you feel about him? Is there any possibility right after you fight Cain Velasquez, your next opponent to be Overeem? How do you see that possibility? Yeah, I think so, you know. Overeem is a, is a pretty good fighter, you know. He's, he starts to talk a lot of now, you know, so it's not good. It's not good for the sport. It's not good, actually, it's not good for him too, you know, because, you know, nobody wants to see a champion like him, you know, like like this, you know, saying stupid things like he's, he's, he's saying. Do you see him as a, as a really top contender? I mean, do, do you see him between, uh, I mean, among the top five in average category today? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so, you know, he, he's tough, he's, he's pretty good, you know, because, well, the most part of his fights, uh, of his results in the fights, you know, uh, it's not a uh, very, you know, we, we can't take that very serious because, you know, he failed in the drug test, so it's very, it's, it's not good, you know, for him, so for sure before, uh, he failed this test for sure before he was using something illegal too, you know, so You know, like I said, this is UFC and here uh, Just the, the, the best the real best fighters in the world will be the, the champion So, you know, I, I don't care. Like I said, I don't care about who is gonna be my opponent uh, uh, to fight for the title, you know, and if the UFC decide to put him against me, I will fight him.